Generating traffic and sales can be a challenge for online merchants. But selling on the Walmart marketplace puts your products in front of millions of customers who shop on walmart.com. And right now, sellers who join Walmart Marketplace can save up to 50% on referral and fulfillment fees for the first 90 days. So get started today. Head over to marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. That's marketplace.walmart.com slash savings. Welcome to E-Commerce Conversations, a weekly podcast focusing on e-commerce topics featuring interviews with prominent people in the e-commerce space. This is E-Commerce Conversations by Practical E-Commerce. I'm Kerry Murdoch. The rise of mobile devices is affecting e-commerce. More consumers are using these devices to shop online and more merchants are using them to collect payments. Two experts in the credit card business are with us today to discuss processing payments on mobile devices. They are John Waldron, CEO of Merchant Focus, and Derek Del Conte, CEO of Interfence, which makes Credit Card Terminal a popular iPhone application. Together, they have just purchased another mobile credit card provider called App Ninjas, and they join us today to review that acquisition and the future of mobile payment processing. Well, John and Derek, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. You are both veterans of the credit card business, and you've teamed up uh, to offer mobile payment solutions with Interfence. John, starting with you, can you tell us what Interfence does and how you are working with Derek's company presently? Sure. Um, Merchant Focus Processing um, uh, was able to uh, reach out to and um, structure a relationship with Interfence about 18 months ago. Um, Interfence at that time was a uh, company that was writing uh, an app for the iPhone and iPod Touch, uh, which was called CC Terminal. It was an ability uh, for a merchant to take a transaction uh, over a mobile device, and uh, at that point, uh, their their software uh, connected to uh, Authorize.net as the payment gateway. And um, we um, we reached out to them when we found wind of uh, what they were doing, and. Uh, started to uh, just court them about what Merchant Focus was doing and how we potentially could work together uh, in, in assisting them in maximizing revenue uh, on their efforts. Um, instead of just being a software play, uh, we painted a picture of mobile payment processing and how the establishment uh, and, and their reach, soon to be reached when they launched, uh, two, two small merchants uh, could generate a good amount of revenue for them by participating in the Visa MasterCard interchange uh, that, that would be associated with the transactions that would be going through their technology. How's it gone over the last 18 months? Uh, Eric, how's, how's it going for you? It's worked out extremely well for us. Um, John with Merchant Focus came in, as he explained, and, and really uh, taught us a lot about the, uh, about the credit card processing industry. Um, and from our end, we're obviously really strong on the software side. And so that combination, uh, you know, has, has really allowed us to get somewhere with, with the overall Interfence uh, merchant focus solution. Derek, just to follow up with you, the, the two companies, uh, John's company, Merchant Focus, and now Interfence, your company, you have partnered, as we understand it, to purchase App Ninjas. Could you describe that acquisition and what your two companies plan on doing with it? Sure. Um, so a little bit of background on the App Ninjas. Um, the App Ninjas created an app called Swipe or iSwipe um, that is also a, a credit card terminal on the iPhone and iPod Touch, and they released it at the beginning of 2009. Um, and obviously, you know, we, we uh, with our Interfence credit card terminal app, we're, we're watching this as well. Um, 
and the App Ninjas made some really good progress with the Swipe app. And, uh, you know, they made some headway into, into mobile processing as well through a combination of uh, delivering a, a solid set of features. And so, you know, we were obviously looking at that, and, you know, John and I, John and I were kind of discussing it a little bit. Um, and it really made sense to us. I mean, we're extremely committed to the, to the emo, uh, emerging mobile market around credit card processing on, on mobile devices. And, um, you know, we, we watched what the App Ninjas were doing, and it made a lot of sense, given what we were up to, to uh, really place an even larger bet on that. Um, and that's our plan now with the, with the acquisition of the App Ninjas. John, can you describe the structure of that acquisition for us? As I understand, you've formed a separate company to acquire that. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah so basically what's happened is... Um, the uh, the principals at Merchant Focus and the principals um, at Interfence uh, got together. We formed a new entity um, called App Ninjas Holdings Incorporated, and that entity acquired uh, the stock of App Ninjas. Uh, there was two principals there, um, Xander Ford and Brian Kennedy, uh, two of the co-founders of App Ninjas and the Swipe Terminal. Um, we we have been courting them for. Uh, six months in, in trying to work out a, uh, a, a situation that would make sense for both parties. Uh, Interfence and Merchant Focus uh, had committed uh, a decent amount of resources uh, almost 12 months ago that we would set aside to do specifically this, um, what, what we accomplished here with, uh, with App Ninjas. We, we've set aside additional resources as well to continue to try to make other transactions like this happen, but this one made the most sense um, based on a lot of things that were going on with, with us, and we loved their direct approach, and, and uh, there, there's, some, there's some components related to hardware uh, and what the future of, of uh, mobile processing uh, solutions look like. We felt that, uh, you, uh, that these guys, you know, being in the game for uh, a year, a little over a year, um, you know, we're probably at a point that uh, you know, it, was, it was a decision time, much like any small business uh, has to decide, you know, do you want to take it to the next level or do you kind of take some chips off the table? And uh, we were just happy that we were able to come to, to, come to terms and, and uh, actually uh, you know, get them in a point where they were ready to take chips off the table and uh, focus on something else. And this makes a lot of sense for us because we, we feel that uh, we, can, uh, we can take this thing to the next level. So will App Ninjas continue? Will, will will their product continue as well? Credit card terminal Interfence's product will both of those continue as they are now? They will. They will uh, maintain uh, independent um, marketing and branding, and um, will both be out uh, uh, acquiring merchants directly. Are they both for uh, iPhone and iPod touches? Is there any Android applicability for those products? current App Ninjas app is for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. Interfence's, uh, our credit card terminal app, works on the iPod Touch, the iPhone, and also there's a new iPad version as well that we released when the uh, iPad store opened. We're obviously looking into uh, the other, other platforms, Android, uh, Windows Mobile, uh, BlackBerry, um, but we're, you know, we're still we're figuring out exactly what we want to do in those particular areas for both the App Ninjas and Interfence. Guys, our listeners, of course, are e-commerce merchants, mainly smaller e-commerce merchants. Those that are listening to this interview, which of those should be most interested in exploring mobile credit card processing? John, let's start with you. Who, who should be interested in, in your products? I think um, any of your merchants that are doing any type of uh, any type of mobile business, whether it be trade shows, um, any type of special events, um, um, any any kind of event where basically they they are taking a product uh, or service and selling it uh, outside of the e-commerce world. Uh, the great thing about um, both App Ninjas and Interfence is that both of those terminals connect to Authorize.net. So many of your customers, um, or many of your listeners, are really um, not too far away from being in the uh, being in the ability to have a, uh, a mobile credit card terminal in their pocket uh, today, as it exists. 
um, as long as they have an authorized .NET account, they could actually just download the app from the iTunes Store, whether it be both Interfence or the Swipe Terminal from App Ninjas, and enter their API login and transaction key from their authorized .NET account, and that would basically enable them to immediately start processing uh, on their iPhone, iPod Touch. So you know, they just basically put a they put a mobile credit card terminal right back in their pocket at that point. So um, you know, the strength of that is, is I think is really powerful, and, and the great thing about it is today that that option is available as a key in a transaction, um, but within the next 60 days, uh, that option becomes um, completely uh, converted to a retail physical terminal in your pocket. We will be launching a hardware device that the iPhone would basically go into and enable the customer to um, not, o not only take the credit card payment, but take it as a retail swipe transaction and enable them to qualify for best of rates with Visa and MasterCard Interchange, uh, much like any retailer does today when a card is swiped uh, through a point of sale system. So just to, to make sure I'm following, let's assume I'm a, an e-commerce merchant and I sell say cooking supplies online if i decide to take some cooking supplies to a trade show i can and if i have an iphone or an ipod touch or an ipad coming i can take that with me and customers that visit me at the trade show i can process their credit card right there and sell my products there did i say that right absolutely you nailed it yep, yep. great so Changing directions uh, on you for a minute with the shift to mobile commerce generally, or the shift to mobile computing generally. If mobile compute, if if computing is shifting to mobile devices, uh, therefore commerce will be shifting to a degree to mobile devices, and therefore payments will be shifting, I suspect, to mobile devices. And what businesses will be affected? What does that mean exactly for merchants that are listening to this? And how will things be changing for the processing of credit card payments with that shift? I think there are two things that will come out of that uh, almost immediately and, and right, are happening right now. One is I think that makes uh, processing payment a lot more convenient. So you can use hardware such as an iPhone that you already carry on you. You don't have to, you know, purchase another device, configure something else. It's just a lot easier. You're, you're out on location, you're selling a good, you're selling a service, and you already have the device with you. And so I think there's a lot of convenience to be gained moving to, moving to mobile platforms like these. Um, and the second is you see a substantial reduction in cost as a merchant. Um, like I said, you're not purchasing the you're not purchasing the hardware, um, but you also aren't setting up a separate mobile data plan to do the to perform the transactions. And in the case of our offering, you're not making uh, long commitments. I mean, we don't we don't uh, you know sign you up for a several year contract. We don't have a contract uh, term in, in our with our solutions. So you know there's there's the convenience, and then there's the reduction in cost, and the swipe attachment that we have for the iPhone, as, as John was mentioning, uh, you know, in the next 60 days, the, that attachment even extends those two qualities. So swipe ends up being a lot more convenient for a merchant. You're swiping the card instead of entering it, so you can run transactions faster. Uh, you don't have to, you know, it's not as, as, as difficult figuring out whether you entered numbers correctly. You can process uh, a much higher volume much more conveniently. And obviously, if you're running cards at a swiped rate, you're also getting a reduction, a reduction in cost on all of those transactions. So, you know, I think the hardware is even taking us out to, to a further level where you're attaching it to uh, an already very powerful iPhone or very powerful uh, mobile device. Um, and so you're, you're saving there, but you're also adding the hardware, hardware in to get you, you know, faster transactions, lower cost. Um, and I think really that hardware is going to be a game changer in both the App Ninjas and Interfence businesses. If, if, if I can continue there for a second, Carrie, I'd like to describe a situation sure. that is very common, um, you know, whether it be an e-commerce merchant or retail merchant, you know, they, when they do a special event today, 
um, you know, they, they pick up the phone, they call their processor and say, what options do I have to take payments at this event? And, you know, 18 months ago, uh, the options were a lot, uh, uh, you know, a lot more painful uh, because you know, the options at that point are, okay, well, you can buy a wireless terminal, but you have to sign up for a data plan that has a one- or two-year contract, and this piece of hardware is five, six, seven hundred dollars $700, and the monthly data plan is $20. And the merchant's like, well, no, I just need this for the weekend, or I just need this for the summer. I don't need, you know. So this this has all changed dramatically to this point, and now with hardware coming, it even, like what Derek was saying, it even changes that much more because now, um, you know, and not that our focus is by any means uh, seasonal merchants, um, because they, you know there's so many merchants in this country who can take advantage of this on a daily basis. You know, we, we, as you probably experienced, you know, you know and, and I think we've even had this discussion before. The the idea that you know a year or two ago you were on an airplane and you wanted to buy a beverage or whatever, it's you know it's seven dollars cash, and today it's we don't take cash. Uh, they whip a mobile uh, terminal out of their. Uh, out of their pocket and they swipe a credit card and, and, and here's your beverage. And so I think the, the mentality of the consumers and of merchants in general uh, will, change, will be changing and, and be changing very fast when the uh, availability to, to basically have uh, you know, any merchant that is out uh, providing services or selling product being able to uh, you know, instantly take a credit card without any hassle. Our listeners, again, are e-commerce merchants, as you know. Derek, let's start with you. Anything else on your mind for them today? Um, one of the things, just to add on to, to what John was saying, um, is that you know, being able to, to reduce the cost of, of uh, getting set up to process transactions, uh, transactions, uh, you know, when you're out on location, is a huge piece of this for us, obviously. And and one of the things that that we're really focused on is obviously keeping that keeping that cost down enabling people to get set up, you know, even for, a, for, a, for smaller businesses and really kind of, you know, working with merchants on, some, on a solution that makes sense for what they're doing. And, and a part of that for us is our current plan on the hardware is to uh, offer that hardware free of charge to new merchants that, uh, that enroll with either Interfence or, or the App Ninjas. How about you, John? Anything else on your mind today? Um, I, I think the I think the key factor or the thing that I find uh, pretty exciting about the, everything that's going on in the mobile payments uh, in, in general, obviously as, as in e-commerce. I mean, uh, being a 14-year payments veteran, uh, seeing uh, where and how uh, e-commerce has came to the point of where it is today, um, I, I think it's exciting uh, you know, for merchants um, to you know be able to sit back. And say, okay, how how am I obtaining uh, all of my payments uh, for the products or services that I'm selling? And, and the idea that you can you can have a solution, an e-commerce solution, and then you can take that solution and enable yourself or any of your associates or employees to also have that payment solution uh, with them at any given time. Uh, I, I think it's just, I mean, obviously, it, it, to me, it means more sales. It means more business for everybody. And I think that's kind of exciting to think about uh, how it all ties together and and uh, we, where where we are now and where all this could go in the you know next five years. I think John uh, really nailed it right there. Where you know an e-commerce merchant, you know, and conventionally had to go set up a, a sort of separate method of processing to deal with uh, to deal with on-location transactions. And one of the things that I'm really excited about with this is the solution that we have. You know, they don't have to go through that process to set up multiple accounts and deal with, with multiple entities to do, you know, both online and in-person transactions. And I think, I think that's a really, really big key moving forward to reduce the amount of hassle that, that, a, that a merchant has to go through in order to process in both scenarios. Well, for purposes of our listeners, again, we've been visiting with John Waldron. John is CEO of Merchant Focus, which is a merchant, a credit card merchant account provider. We've also been visiting with Derek Del Conte. Derek is CEO of Interfence, a software company which writes credit card terminal, an iPhone mobile credit card terminal solution. Those two gentlemen have teamed up to purchase App Ninjas, which is another mobile payment solution. 
That site is appninjas.com. That's A P P N as in Nancy, I N J A S, appninjas.com. And John Waldron and Derek Del Conte, we want to thank each of you for your time today, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this week's e-commerce conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. Please tune in next week for another new episode.